This is the OOP mock test for grade 12 IT or information technology, OOP meaning object oriented programming. In our first part of this video, we, or the first video, we looked at basically defining the methods that are going to be in our class. Um, so defining our object basically and now in this video we're going to use those methods by having a program which makes use of that particular class. So just to recap what we did in the previous video we worked in the the metric dance MD table class or object we created an object it had fields for the table number the number of students at the table the number of partners at the table and a names list which had the names of all the students and and if they had a partner or not at that particular table. We created a constructor, we had a get table size, which returns how many students or partners are at the table combined. The table cost is 500 Rand for the students and 700 Rand for all the partners, so that works out the table cost. Um, if you're going to add a single, it basically takes that name, adds it to the name list and increases the students by one. The add couple increases both the students and the partners by one and adds the name to the name list with a special plus partner part. Get stats just tells me how many students and, and partners there are in some sort of string. And the two string was a way of displaying the table number and all this, the people that are sitting at that table and who has partners in this particular format. So that's what we did in the last lesson. Now let's actually use it. Let's go look at the question for this. We, if question two, we are going to use the class to complete the following code. Okay, so we've got the program open. We're going to open up this 1.2.1. Boom. And it's quite simple. It takes as input the table number from the spin edit and instantiates the object. So first of all, let's go look. Do we have an object? Yes, we do. We've got an OBJ table that's already been declared for us because we've got the class at the top and we've got an object, a global variable of type MT table. So all I need to do is OBJ table and use the constructor dot create oh, no don't do that don't say dot create this is the only one that you don't say the object dot whatever it is you make it equal to what type of object it is it's a m tmd table it's whatever type it is dot create and then you give it its parameter it needs the table number and it gets the table number from spn table number so how it's a in brackets here spn table number the value property so that fetches that integer and instantiates that object that's literally it there we go two marks well that makes sense okay now 1.2.2 so let's go to the next one so we at the next one technically so we can see you're going to put in a name and there's a little checkbox to see if they have brought a partner or not so we know what to expect so I'm assuming we're going to get that name. So I'm going to just make a variable for the name straight away. Just to save some time. I'm going to extract that name and put it into that variable edt name dot text. So I'll just do it straight away. So we've got it. Okay. So what is it that they want? Complete the code that takes as input the name. Ha, oh, we did that already. We are ahead of the game. And add this student to the table. A suitable message must be displayed if there is no space. So a table can take a maximum of two people. A student can't be added if the table already has 10 people or a couple can't be added if there is nine people. So there's two scenarios. If they add a single person or if they add a, a couple, so it depends on what number's left, okay? So how do we know how many people are at the table? Well, we've, oh, we've got something. We've got this little function here. If you remember correctly, we've got the table size function, which tells me how many people are at the table. So I would have feeling we're going to use that. So let's go. If so, we need to first check out if they if the table size. So if the object table size, table size, table not table size, get table size. It was get table size. If that equals to ten, it doesn't matter if it's a partner or not. We can't just put anyone there. It's full. Then we can show message. Hey, the table's full. Table is full. No more place for you. Else, if the table size is not 10, else, the other option is if the object dot table size, get table size, Mr. Wong, get table size equals 9, and at this, and, but this only works if they've got a partner though, if they bring in a partner. We can't add a partner if they can only take 10, because then you have to add two people, and two people don't fit if there's 9. And at the same time, if the table size is 9 
and they've clicked on that bring partner checkbox and cbx partner dot checked equals true then that's also a problem do you agree it's nine there's not enough space then we're going to show message whatever you want to say not enough space not enough space for a couple i don't know what you want to say there we go and if it's neither of those scenarios then obviously then we can add then we can add someone we can add a, a single or a couple if that makes sense so i'm not so sure put that in quotes because i'm writing comments there there we go then we can add so what do we need to do so they say first check if it fits okay if there is space available yeah we are at this point yeah the couple must be add, a student must be added to the table using the appropriate add method so if there was a partner then obviously you need to use the add couple if it's a student then you must use the add single if it's just by themselves so that's quite easy so if the checkbox dot checked equals true that means they brought a partner then we can say the object table dot add couple with s name as our parameter because they brought a partner but if it's not if it's false which means they didn't bring a partner then the table dot add single method must be called with the name of the person so if we have bruce bruce we're going to add you if it's checked we're going to add you with the word plus partner if we're not we're going to add you as a, as a single there we go so that's doing that part okay so we just add that part then the details of the table so the two string must be displayed like this so all the details of the table must be displayed so we're going to go yeah, okay well that's easy so then once it's done then we can say the is it a rich edit rich display dot lines dot add the object dot to string okay does that does that seem to flow details of the string. that seems to work so let's try it out so as we add names we should see it appear so let's try it out let's see if there are any errors Boom. Here we go, it's compiling. And there it is, I think it's appeared. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look. So table one, we start the table, or we start the first button. Then we're gonna add Bruce Banner. Now we can add Mr. Long with a partner. Now add it. Now the key is if your string didn't add the Bruce Banner the second time, that means you were using F name list and you were deleting stuff from the list. When you're recording the two string function that's why if you remember from our previous video we when we did the two string we didn't edit f name list we just made a copy of it into s temp and we worked with s temp so so far it seems to be working if i add in uh john doe who's also bringing a partner do you see there's john doe and then i go jane smith and they bring in a partner so we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We had seven people. Let's do another one. Uh, uh, Steve Jobs. He's bringing a partner. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine people. So if I type in a new person now, like Clark Kent, let's say Clark Kent. If I say you are bringing a partner, it's going to go, hey, not enough space for a couple. Sorry for you. But if I say without a partner, because there is space for one person. Uh, there is now space now we can put him in um, but if i click on it again he goes eh, no, table is full sorry no space for you okay so does everyone get this? so we're happy with that i don't think that's all though what else we haven't used all the methods if the table is full has 10 people after a student is added then the text table is full and the, so this must be displayed this little bit so that is the table cost equal so we get the table cost and then that is the get stats if you remember so we need to make sure a little tip when you creating all these methods make sure that you use all of them so we've used the create we've used the get table size we've used add single add couple and we've used the two string we have not used get stats and table cost yet and so that's why we are using it now so once we've displayed that so once boom, boom that's all done so it's still inside yeah we can say if the object table size at this point get table size equals 10 after we've added these couples or whatever like that so there's no more space 
left then we can say okay well then the rich edit display dot lines dot add we're going to say table is full because that's what they want to display is that correct table is full then the table cost equal to then we want to display table cost equal to table cost equal to and then we're going to add the actual table cost now how do we get the table cost? it's obj table dot get our table cost i think the table cost will return that as an integer but we don't want it as an integer we want to display like that with as a as a floaty string f no that one this one so we're going to say plus float to string f here float to string f you can float to string f integers and we're going to say ff currency comma eight comma two so that way we can display it as a text so that's great and then we're going to add what else are we going to say? i'll just copy and paste to that so we next thing we do is the the string which is the get stats so that would then be the object table dot get stats there we go just sends back that string in the format that we want so this will only happen obviously if the table is full okay if the table's full and we do this inside the yeah everything's all we are adding people so that's the only time we want to do this we don't want to do this if there's a problem and stuff like that. it's only if we've added people correctly and so on so let's try to see what it looks like so first thing instantiate correct boom add bruce banner with a partner yes add mr long with a partner yes add john smith without a partner add jane do without a partner so we are on six people now let's go clark kent with a partner boom so one two three four five six seven eight and then wonder woman diana prince is her name diana prince with her partner add boom ah it's full uh, the cost is that yeah it looks like it's working correctly so there's one two three four five six uh, students so six times 500 and four times partners so it's four times 700 so that looks like it's legit so i would only the only difference is if we look at their their description they have a bit of a gap there so i can obviously just add that in very quickly um, when i do this part i can obviously just add in a blank line above this just to make sure that it fits in nicely just add a blank line just to make it look nice and pretty but there we go so that's basically it that's the whole question done so we first instantiated did we use all of our methods we first checked if the table size was equal to 10 and then say hey, there's a prop if that's the table size was nine and the partner was true then there's not enough space for a couple so we said there's not enough space for a couple but if it's past that if everything's fine then we can say okay well then if the partner's checked then we must add the couple option if it's not we're going to add the single option then we displayed everything and then if the table size was 10 then we add the summary at the end that's basically what we did did we use everything did we use the create yes did we use that get table size yes did we use table cost yes 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 so we've used everything therefore we should be done and that should be it so there we go that is the last bit of the oop mock test Support the channel by subscribing. Even if you don't want to receive notifications, just click the bell icon off. But please subscribe and support us. We'd love to hear from you. Also leave a comment and leave a like. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.